Welcome to First Word Farmers News Roundup for September 24th, brought to you today by editorial researcher Nina Whittle. Today's First Word Farmer News Roundup is sponsored by INC Research. In our top news story, Novartis launched a portfolio of 15 medicines to treat chronic diseases, including diabetes and breast cancer, in low- and low-middle-income countries. The drugs will be offered to governments, non-governmental organizations, and other public sector health care providers for $1 per treatment per month. Also featured, Bayer's Seralto gained clearance in Japan for the treatment and secondary prevention of pulmonary thromboembolism and deep vein thrombosis. The approval of the oral factor XA inhibitor was based on data from the Global Einstein Clinical Trial Program and two studies conducted entirely in Japan. In other news, GlaxoSmithKline and Theravance plan to file a submission in Japan for Relvar Elipta for the treatment of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease in the first quarter of 2016. The companies noted that the application follows results from an additional global phase 3 efficacy and safety study. In addition, Galenica is reportedly working with an investment bank regarding plans to acquire assets and spin off its Vifor pharmaceutical unit. Chief Financial Officer Jörg Knoibüller said the company is seeking deals in Europe to boost Vifor's position in the iron deficiency and infectious disease segments. And finally, study results showed that the addition of oncogenic sapatorsin to abraxane failed to demonstrate a survival benefit in patients with untreated metastatic pancreatic cancer. CEO Scott Cormack said, While we are disappointed with the Rainier study results, we remain confident in our broader apatorsin program. To read these and other stories in full, please visit firstwordpharma.com. 